Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, you can see we have kind of a gray overcast day today. A few showers rolling through. A little bit of sun peeking through. Again, kind of the best of both worlds. Solar's doing fine, water's doing fine. And today we're going to take a look at some new solar panels and see how they produce on a day like today. So we're going to stick them right over there and take a peek at them. So I had to hightail it in here for the rain opened up no sooner than I started this uh, little review. But these are new solar panels from Calpha and they look pretty sweet. So uh, going to be running in and out of the rain as much as I can and show you guys what they look like. And they did send me several of these to test. And this is the first part of it. And I'll just kind of show you how well packaged they come. For those of you that are interested, I just pulled this one out of the box. You can see the corners are all very well protected. They've got some of this in front of the, the cells. So they arrive in pristine condition. And then they also come with a little user manual there for you. And I'm just gonna hook these up in series and I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. These are really nice looking panels. They've got the 10 bus bar per cell configuration. I just, I love the color. They're, you know, just all black. Very nice looking. And while I give you a look, I'll just read over some of the specs that uh, you would have assume are just right in line with 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels. And they are boasting a 23% conversion rate, operating voltage 17.1 volts, operation current uh, 5.85 amps, open circuit voltage 20.1 volts. So right in line with what we would expect for 100 watt solar panels. I looked at their website just a moment ago and these are just under a hundred bucks, right at $95. So under a dollar a watt, really nice. They have of course mounting holes along the sides in the back for however you want to mount these. So I've got three right there. And for this uh, test, we're going to hook up a fourth one right over there and we'll see what they look like. And I'll give you a quick look here on the back of this fourth panel that we're going to install. And you can see it's got the MC4 connectors right there. They're bundled up with a little twist tie on both ends. Just undo that and you've got some length to work with to tie these panels together. You can see the pre-drilled mounting holes on all sides of the frame. Weighs in at 13 and a half pounds per panel. So very lightweight and easy to move around. And I really like the way this is covered in the back. It's a heavy duty material. Kind of a, has a rubberized plastic feel to it. Super nice, super tight finish. I love the look of these panels. And then here's a little sticker on the back of all the panels. Very small print, but it, uh, it just has all the specs, as does the user manual. So, right there. Yeah, nice monocrystalline panels here. I really like them. Okay, let's get this hooked up. And of course they do have an IP68 rating, so they are completely waterproof. And boy do they look it too. Yeah. All right, so now I'm just going pause to neg, pause to neg down the string, but I really need to show you guys these MC4 connectors because they're a little different and it's a nice difference from what we normally see. So here I'm gonna just plug them together. They have a nice snap to them, but look right here. These have like an extra tool 
built into them to where when you need to disconnect them, you pinch that and it gets down there on, on this part here. You know, this pushes down on that to release it. And you know, in our other MC4 connectors that are most commonly used, sometimes that is really tough to get apart. So they've actually built in a little compression tool there to push down on these right there to make them be a very quick release. Now that's a really nice touch. I'd like to see all the MC4 connectors do that. There we go, snapped together. And you can see, you know, there's the, the bottom part. And then it's, you know, I've had to take like needle nose pliers to sometimes get those other kind apart. This one's got that built right in. Boy, that just couldn't be easier. That's a, that's a huge plus. I love that. Yeah, I had to show you guys. All right, I've got these four tied in series. And I'll walk up to the shop now. And of course it's been, uh, as you can see, raining pretty much non-stop while I was doing this. I can get away with having those panels fairly flat at the moment. And even though I have a couple more to tie in, uh, this will work great for our uh, experiment right now. So let's head on up to the shop. Oh, almost fell. Anyway, that's where we're going. Okay, now for the moment of truth. We'll flip the solar panels on. Well, first let's take a look and see what it's doing here. Of course, there's no power coming in because I had them shut off. Uh, this battery bank is pretty full, sitting there at rest for at 13.27. And let's click it on now. And right away you can see we've got 75 and a half volts coming through. It's very dark out there, but we are getting some power. Mostly I was wanting to see the voltage looking pretty good. So yeah, that's why I only tied up four, even though they sent me six, that's gonna be for a, a different experiment. But this charge controller has a 100 volt, 30 amp, uh, you know, that's supposed to work within those parameters. And if I put five together in series, I might be flirting with that uh, voltage. So that's why I just tied in four to stay with, you know, under that 100 volts, which we are uh, very nicely. And of course that fluctuates, you know, it's 60 some now, bouncing around a little bit. It is getting, uh, you know, about 50 watts, which is dark as it is. And it's very, very dark right now out there, but. I'll try and see if maybe I get a spot of sunshine so we can see it producing more, but everything looks real good. And the smart shot reading that battery bank, 200 amp hour battery bank at 97% full, 13.36 volts on the battery bank. And we're using about 20. 526 watts of power, but yeah, not really good charging conditions right now. And it would probably be slowing down even if I had good sun. If the sun came out, that'd pop right up to 100% and the panels would taper off anyway. So uh, if it was better conditions, I would hook up a battery that had a little lower uh, capacity right now and let it, let it really rock. But yeah, saw 54. 54 watts, I believe, coming in right now, 55 watts. And that's probably be, gonna be about the max I see. Uh, it's no, no signs of sunshine coming in. But like I said, that voltage is what I really wanted to make sure was acting correctly. I didn't wanna do anything that would uh, flirt with going over on that charge controller there. So everything's looking real good. I do like those panels. I think they're going to work out great. I'm going to be showing you a lot more of those because like I said, they sent out 600 watts and I am going to tie those in series for a different uh, 
experiment and review, but we're not going to run it through that charge controller because about 400 watts is about what I'm comfortable running through that charge controller right there, keeping that voltage under 100 volts. Looking real good. All right. Well, you just got to deal with the weather that you get. But any other panels I'd have hooked up right now, I'd be doing the same thing. They look absolutely fine. And like I said, we're going to show you a lot more of what's going on with those here in the upcoming uh, review that's going to be pretty exciting. But yeah. Pretty dark. Pretty dark. And like I was saying, I can get away this time of year, actually year round, I can pretty much get away at the panels being flat. I am going to build a little a permanent array out here because this is a sweet spot for the shop up there. And I've got enough room to put another panel there and another panel there. And I might adjust the angle a little bit, but that's going to be about where they sit. Maybe back just a little bit more. But I just wanted to get them out here and start start running them. But yeah, those are the Calpha 100 watt monocrystalline rigid solar panels. These are rigids, of course, if I didn't mention that. Really like them. They're really, really beautiful panels under a buck a watt. And that's what we'd like to see. All right, you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. I, I'm pretty soaking wet. <laughs> I gotta, gotta go dry off and think about dinner. Catch you on the next one. Aloha. Yeah, hard to believe though that I did get all systems up to a decent enough charge today. And of course, that's been overflowing. <laughs> Uh, good day. And thanks to Calpha for sending these out. Really like these. Beautiful panels. I'll be showing you a lot more of these. How they work. Tie up a couple of more. And show you some other cool stuff from them. <laughs>